Hey, uh, it looks like we're live. <laughs> I'm still putting it together. I, I'm almost there. <laughs> almost, almost. I'm getting there. The first thing is just why are we doing this? Well, we're taking a trip. We're going on vacation. Oh boy. We're going to Europe. We are not just driving away in the RV. We are going on a plane and then a train and probably some buses. And we'll be doing a lot of walking. Doing yeah. a lot of walking. So we have Maybe been... Maybe some running. Who knows? <laughs> I hope not. We've been researching some packing tips. And we really like what Rick Steves has to say. So we've been watching a lot of his YouTube videos. And we are taking his advice and traveling with only carry-on bags. A backpack. And we went ahead and bought the Rick Steves official, official, official. rolling backpack. Want to show him one? Yeah. Yeah, this is mine. So when we can roll it, that'll be great. But if we can't, when we're running to catch a train, or right. climbing upstairs, or walking on cobblestones, we can put it on as a backpack. So we really, really have to pack light. So Jim is taking the backpack and a day pack. And we we found this cool day pack. That yeah, it's a crossbody day pack, so it has just one big strap goes on like that, and it keeps a lot of stuff in front of you where it's handy to have and get at and and safer from pickpockets yeah, or whatever. But yeah, it's just it's just a very comfortable instead of a, a, a two thing backpack with two straps and all. It has just has the one strap. You can hang things off of it, you can stuff things into it. Anything that we'll need just for the day. You know, Chris will have her stuff, she'll carry her water, she'll carry, you know, most of the stuff that, that she needs, but I'll just be carrying the stuff that she, is too much for her to carry and stuff that's mine. So, it'll work out great. I see that we have one, one person joined us. Randy, if you could tell us whether you hear us okay. That would be nice. We're not using any special microphones for this, and this is also just a test of how good Facebook Live works. We're hoping to do some Facebook Live when we're in Italy and Croatia. So how did this trip come about? We... <laughs> a great story. The, the first thing... A-okay. Thanks, Randy. Good, good, <laughs> good deal. Nice. Then we'll, we'll just keep talking here. All right. So I went to high school with a guy named Carrie Tennis, who, had, who became quite a, a known writer. I know his work primarily from his column at Salon.com. And I reconnected with him at some high school reunions, and he gives workshops on writing. Well, he moved to Tuscany, Italy. Wow. They were in the, they were in the Bay Area. They were in San, San Francisco, Francisco Bay Area, yeah. But they've moved to Tuscany, Italy. And when I got an email promoting the fact that he was doing a writing retreat in Tuscany, I went to my calendar, saw that we were free, and I booked it. So I am first starting out in Tuscany, going to this writing workshop, and what are you going to do? I'm going to be researching the rest of our travels, because we're going to, from Tuscany, go up to Venice area and Trieste, and over into Croatia, where my grandfather was born. Well, it's way, it's way over here, uh, <laughs> isn't it? So, northern Italy and just up around right over here. the Adriatic to Croatia. And then where his grandfather was born right. is... Vincosi in Croatia. It used to be Austria-Hungary back in the years that he came over. He actually 
emigrated twice over here. He came through Ellis Island and neat story anyway. But the, the Nkosi is quite a ways east. Mm -hmm. So we're going east through Croatia to do that. We might even rent an RV. A better signal. Ah, well, hmm. Apparently we had a little bit of an internet glitch there for a moment. Oh, uh, that never happens. But, right, hopefully we're back. Yeah. So what we want to do today is to show you a bit about what we plan to take. We have it all around us here. Yeah. First, first of all, well, we already showed you the backpack, right? right? The backpack and the day pack. We want to be able to carry everything. So everything we're going to have to be all the time. light. So instead of a full-blown computer, I'm taking my little Chromebook. And if, and if you don't know what a Chromebook is, Make sure to watch our What Does This Button Do episode 117 that we just posted today. So as we show you everything we're going to take, we're going to put it on this table we're gonna here. Table. We're going to pile it up to show you how much space it's going to take. This is a Chromebook. It is a 10-inch Chromebook. I did verify that. And this is what I will be using for my computing. How about you, Jim? Okay, I have my Surface Pro. It's a Surface Pro 2. It's uh, an older computer, but it is a full Windows 10 computer that's been updated to all of the latest and greatest. It has one of these little funny doohickey keyboards. That's the cover, and I can use it as a tablet. I can use it just as a, as a computer. I tend to use it just as storage, and I'll be running Hopefully, we'll be running our shows off of it. It has a good processor, an i5 processor. Uh, plenty of memory, but I'm not going to be bringing any extra memory. Just what's built in that fits in the outside pocket of my... So this is a full-blown computer, even though well, that's it's the same size. Computer too. The only difference, laptop... A Chromebook is a laptop. It's just running the Chrome OS instead of the Microsoft, Microsoft OS. Microsoft, right. Or, you know, some people run Apple OS. It's just another operating system. Some people run Linux. Which, so we are know. hoping to continue our weekly class, What Does This Button Do, even while we are in Europe. But we make no promises. <laughs> <laughs> but we're taking this equipment in hopes of still doing our show. My main computer is still going to be my new Pixel XL smartphone. It's a Google phone on Project Fi. So when we are in Europe, we'll be getting all of the, the advantages of the T-Mobile system over there, which is... Unlimited data, unlimited text, and 20 cents, I think, 20 cents a minute for phone calls, which is really inexpensive. And you can even do IP calls, so those are completely free. Anyway, that's that's my main computer. That's so this is his, his phone. My phone, A data, Pixel, a Google Pixel. The Android new phone. Latest and greatest, wonderful. My phone... I'm taking my iPhone 7 Plus. I am not taking my Verizon phone because it, it took a bit of doing to <laughs> unlock it from AT&T and use our SIM card from another phone we have that was on T-Mobile. Persistence does pay. It took a few days because T-Mobile works in Europe natively. We'll, we'll be reporting on that, but a couple years ago we went to England and Great Britain and Brussels and we used T-Mobile and it worked just great. Both T-Mobile and Project Fi, which is the Google that includes T-Mobile. So this will also be my main camera. The iPhone 7 Plus is a fabulous camera. So is his Pixel. So that's, our, that's both our computing, our internet connection, and our cameras. 
Well, not all. What else you got there? I do have another camera, and this is the Samsung Camera 2. It is an Android tablet with a really good lens. So this is going to be my camera for taking long shots. Chris has decided not to bring her fancy Look at this. Canon SLR digital I mean, single lens reflex with a big lens and all that stuff. This is pretty good. That's better, but that's heavy. I can put all of this in a small box. I, I actually put it all in a small dry box with a charger, one of those extra battery chargers, and it all fits in there, and that goes in either my day pack or in the, the main pack. And it's small. It's so he's taking one. two cameras. Right. I'm taking just I am not taking this. I will miss it. I, I love my Canon, but I am not going to haul it around. I am not taking that. I am taking this tripod. It's a Gorilla Pod. It's one of those bendable pods because I also have a, a smartphone adapter that will go on the tripod there if I want to use one of the phones to do pictures or video and the camera for something else. Anyway, it's very versatile. So that would probably be how we do either our show or Facebook Live while we're, yeah, while we're sure. over there. Let me see if there's any questions. Hey, hi, Chris Lorber. And, and D and Lions. Uh, if you have any questions, Please don't bother us with questions. Please We're write them in the chat. <laughs> we are having fun. All right, what else do we got? I got a new tablet, pretty much just for this this trip. It is a Samsung eight inch eight inch Android tablet, and it has a micro SD card slot. So. I bought a 32 gigabyte micro SD card and put it in here and I've downloaded movies, I've downloaded all the Rick Steves guides to where we're going, I've down, what else have I downloaded? Just all of the, the Florence guides, we're, we are flying into Florence and we have a day there before going to Tuscany. So. I really, this is a great tablet, and I got a case for it that is not the wallet That connection here has problems, then that means we're definitely going to have problems over there. Well, there's other stuff going on. I just saw a message here it's that there's an time. internet problem going on. Yeah. And we are at home with our fiber internet here, so that's that's kind of surprising. That's a tough time. I do have this splitter. This is something that I think is a good idea. It will split the audio, so if we want to be listening to the same show on her tablet, it'll be very easy. We plug this in, and then we plug our earbuds in. Oh, cool. Speaking of your So I said I, I downloaded five movies yeah. from Amazon Prime, all for free, once you are an Amazon Prime. Yeah, member. free. <laughs> and so what, you'll plug that into the audio jack. Great. Right. That'll just plug right in. Oops. And oh. then each of us will plug our... Headphones or... Our earbuds. earbuds. Yeah. Into it. Yeah, I have earbuds. Mine are uh, noise canceling. They're powered. And so I'll keep those in here, and I'll keep the splitter in but here. Does yours have a microphone also? Uh, they do, yes. Oh, okay. Because I realized that the ones I got from Google, my, my favorite little ear pods, did not have a microphone. So I'm keeping the ones that came with my Samsung. Oh, yes, you should. Which have to be different from the ones that came with my iPhone because it no longer has the audio jack. So. Okay. Another important thing, and I have a couple of them, are the external batteries with cables for USB for charging. 
so you can charge these babies up while you're out and about uh, and then have them with you whenever you need them. These are very powerful batteries. I love them. We did a whole one of our episodes, our What Does This Button Do episodes, on external batteries. Now, I'm supposed to be piling all that over here so they can see I, 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 what we're taking. Okay, so go ahead and take the, the buttons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> take the... Tripod. Tripod and the extra pod piece. Okay. Now, I have... I carry with me at all times this little thing called a Hutu. And we also did one of our episodes, our What Does This Button Do episode, on on these. I have a Hutu too too. There are two <laughs> two models of the Hutu. These are called travel routers. They perform three. Count them. One, two, three. Separate functions it's and I love them. There's more. Number one, they are a battery. They're a so battery, right. I there's USB ports and I can plug in the cable for either my Android device or my Apple device, and they can charge off of this battery. When this battery dies, there's, there, there is how you plug this in to recharge it. Now over there in Europe, they have special adapters that you have to plug in because they have the two round buttons. So we have, and that's something else we have. Where'd that go? Uh oh. Did you not here? No, that's not it. Uh, it's called a loop. He has something called a loop, ah, here it is. which is the the adapter so that we can take our American plug, two-prong plugs. All right. How can you see that? There well, we go. <laughs> yeah. So this, this plugs into there. Yeah. This just plugs right into there. This will chart, then this plugs into the wall. But in addition, this also has two USB charging ports. So this is a really handy deal to have. So loop, L-O-O-P, that can, is our power adapter. Right. It doesn't change the power. It doesn't transform the power to 110. It just passes through the 240, which is the native power over there at 50 hertz. But all of the chargers that we have are dual power. It doesn't matter what voltage you're putting into them the output is correct for the devices we have. And I've checked that. So so this has a, a high power and a regular USB, so a 2.1 and a, and a 1.0 charging devices. So we have that. Those are going over here. Oh, man. I'm trying to look at what people have written here. And I see that somebody says, unable to watch. Everything looks fine from our end. Can can somebody comment? Are they able to see and hear us? Uh, what, yeah. Um, um, yeah, that would be great. But yeah, just to be that would be nice. Okay, still. But we're going to continue. Still piling on stuff. I have a Bluetooth mouse for my computer, so that I can go over there. Oh. So I, I, like I wasn't that. planning on taking a mouse for my <sighs> Chromebook. Well, I just. Sometimes I like to have a mouse. The mouse is nice, yeah, and the Chromebook has a trackpad, but, you but can the use mouse this, is you nice. You could use this mouse with the Chromebook because it has Bluetooth, and you can connect to it. You'll let me? I might. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't finish with the Hutu. Oh, who? I who said that the Hutu had three purposes, and the only one we talked about was charging our phones and tablets. The second purpose is a a, a router, a travel router. So, for example, we have several thumb drives with all sorts of stuff on them. Videos and pictures. And How I can't documents. watch something from this thumb drive on my tablet because the tablet doesn't have a full-blown 
USB. Right. That's where the U, the Hutu comes in. The Hutu can accept the USB, you plug it in there, and then when you press and hold the button, the Hutu creates its own little Wi-Fi network that your tablet can connect to and play what's on the USB. So that's the number one reason. <laughs> no, it is the number two, the power. <laughs> right. It's, but it's great. So for people who buy our bundles that we sell, when we do the rallies and they get a thumb drive with it, say they want to watch those videos on the on an iPad or on their iPhones or on a or on an Android tablet. Now you can do it with that device or with the other one. The third thing that the Hutu can do is when you're in a hotel that has Wi-Fi or maybe even an Ethernet. Be a good thing. Yeah, can you see there that it has an Ethernet? An RJ45 port. standard port. And so we can plug the hotel's Ethernet into here, and the Hutu becomes our own private Wi Fi network that you can connect up to five devices? Mm, eight. Well, eight. maybe five on that one, eight on the other one. Right. And, well, and, good and enough. Plenty of connections. And the difference between this one and this one is that this one is a better battery. And if you if you want to see more detail about it, if you go to our website, geeksontour.com, and click on store, you will see our Amazon store. And these two items are featured on our first page. But we will take them to charge our devices when we're out and about mm -hmm. and don't have electricity and to play external storage devices on our phones and tablets. Cool. All right. It's getting to be a pile over here. Yeah. Are you concerned about the potential ban on laptops and other devices when returning to the U.S.? Well, yeah. I mean, that would be a bummer, <laughs> but worst case, I, I read through the, the ban issue, and you could still check. You can have electronics in your checked baggage, so worst case is when we return to the U.S., we would, have to, we'd have to put, we would have to check a bag. We do not intend to check any baggage. We are traveling with carry-on And, and only. this this ban is it's very specific and I don't think it applies to the countries that we're going to from. So Boy, if I was a business person... I would not want to deal with If this. I was a business person and this ban does go into effect, that would be a... That's a total game changer. That's right. nasty. Okay. Uh, what else? Charging devices. We do need a lot of charging devices. So we got this Anchor. It is one of our favorite. A N K E R. It's Anchor. one of our favorite devices. This happens to be a five-port USB charger. Two of these ports are the super high-speed, the IQ high-speed charging ports. The other three are just high-speed ports. So it's five ports, two super high-speed. Uh, if your device will handle it, and our new devices do, so there will be a. a you know, at least my USB-C for the for the Pixel and your Lightning for your 7. Right. So that gets piled on. I just noticed... And cables. I just noticed that they can't see our pile, so let me readjust this a little bit. <clears throat> okay, so this, this yeah, is the this pile. Is, this, is our, this is our pile of technology. Okay. And I, I might as well just toss this in here. This is the power supply for the for the Surface Pro. There's a USB hub in here in case I want to connect up multiple devices and power for that. A little holder for that. Power. Those and cables are there. So that that's in a little pouch. All this gets together. And this is a little thing. <laughs> I think I just picked a it up at, at the bargain bin at Walmart or something. 
But it's a stand. Can you? Yeah, you can yeah. see it. It's a stand for setting your phone or your tablet and being able to, to watch it. Just, you know, it's a $2 device, but I think it comes $2. in really, I think it comes in really it. handy. And so gave it to you. And it's tiny. All right, so pile that on there. And I am taking a selfie stick. I, I haven't used one much, but since my phone is going to be my only camera, I thought, well, maybe I will. And maybe we will use it for doing some of these Facebook Lives or YouTube Lives when we're over there. I think that's probably the most um, likely outcome is when we're over there that we won't do our scheduled what does this button do show, but we will talk about what we're learning over there technology-wise through Facebook Live or maybe YouTube Live. Okay, and one more thing. I have one of these clip-on microfiber cloths because our number one tip is clean, clean the, the lens. lens. When you're taking these pictures, or even when you're trying to see, <laughs> <laughs> Clean the lens, and things will be more colorful, actually. Now, how are we going to get internet when we're over there? How oh. are we going to get data to my Chromebook? Okay. Well, just like here, a lot of people use these MiFi devices. So, they have the same things over there. They have this MiFi and USB. Now tell them where we got this. We got this from our friends who do a lot of traveling. Don and Kim, Don and Kim Green. from HarvestHost.com. They've done a lot of travel. They have RV'd all over Europe and Asia and Africa. And they were just there a few months ago. Right, and they have all this extra data plan that they have already contracted for, right? <laughs> and they're giving that to us for no, like gigabytes no, 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 and gigabytes? No? No. 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 That was um, a nice thought. But yeah. the, all the adapters are thrown in. They gave us this box of goodies. So, yeah, while we're over there, we'll have to get SIM cards for it and, and get it activated. And get. But we can use this as well as our data plans that we have on our phones. Right. So, so with all of this, we should be able to get connected. There's Wi-Fi we hear all over the place, and sometimes it's even good enough to use. Yeah, we and so that this, goes on and there. I think last year was supposed to be the year of 4G in Europe. So I'm looking forward to what we find. We know we will be able to get internet for checking our email, oh, doing yeah, Facebook. No we don't know if we will have enough internet for doing our for doing live streaming. Like this this right. is this is a lot more. But I have one more thing to say about it. So our phones are using basically T Mobile connection, which works in Europe. They roam on the European towers and therefore we will be able to turn them turn our phones into a hotspot and use that for our Chromebook and the Surface. But there is also local internet services, and that's what this, over here we call it a MiFi, but in Italy they pronounce it MiFi. <laughs> At least that's what that's what Kim and Don tell us. We'll see. So unless they're just trying to make us look foolish when we go over there they and talk about our me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> So they gave us the device. All we need to do is sign up, is pay to top off the the data. SIM card, the data. Edith, Edith Richter. Okay. We so. are also going to be stopping in Germany, but I looked at where you are where you live and you're it looks like you're a long ways from Berlin we are spending one day in Berlin and I would love to see you again and this microphone is not plugged into anything so. no but this this is another microphone I'm still debating whether I have room or desire to take it with us it's a it's a 
it's a shotgun microphone, it's a powered microphone that goes into a smartphone or a tablet for added, added sound. And it, I don't know. Did you think it sounded all that much better? I didn't. Microphones are a big issue. Everybody says that sound is the most, and that's true, sound is the most important part to get right in live streaming and YouTube videos, and you need a good microphone. But there are so many problems with external microphones that the little bit of quality difference they make, we are not necessarily finding that it's worth it. Just using the built-in microphone in the computer, this is actually a Chromebook that's doing this live video right now. It's our old Chromebook. And I don't know, tell us how it, how it sounds. I'm sure it would sound better with a real microphone but enough that we should take this? Yeah, and the issues of configuring it every time and making sure that it is the active mi microphone to know that you're talking into the right. Anyway, it, there's a lot to it. I could, you know, and it's another piece, it's another headache. All right, so that's about it. We've gone over computers. We are, so what are we not taking? Well, Big drag for me, I'm not taking the drone. I'm not taking oh. the, the GoPro. Uh, Karma drone, it's something that I had kind of, you know. He considered there are taking this because look at, the, I mean, this this is his drone. It's called Karma, K-A-R-M-A. -A. And it's just a backpack. And it comes in this nice little backpack. Yeah, but it's, it is another piece and I wouldn't have any place to to deal with it, so, but, yeah, now, I'm not even going to take my, I'm now not, this surprises me, I'm not going to take my GoPro camera, which is normally the camera that's on here, and, well, that is not very big, that's not very big, maybe I will, <laughs> Yeah. You used it in the Grand Canyon and I liked did. it. I did like it. This is the the gimbal or the battery holder for the gimbal for the for the GoPro camera. This is the the actual drone here. Now that I can see. You know, this yeah. this is not worth taking they have because you may or may not be able to use it anywhere anyway. And the restrictions that I saw I didn't really care to deal with. I would love to fly it in some of these beautiful places. Especially obviously. Tuscany. Oh, yeah. I'll bet, I'll bet there'd be places you could fly it in Tuscany. I bet there is, but I don't want to deal with it, so. Yeah, so he's not taking that. I'm not taking my real laptop. I truly believe that my Chromebook, my little 10-inch Chromebook, will be everything I need. I am not taking my Canon digital SLR. I will miss this. You know, there will be some good pictures that I will miss, but not enough to justify hauling it around. I am not taking my Verizon phone. Hmm. Verizon doesn't work over there. <laughs> There's a good reason. It's a CDMA as opposed to a GSM, or I'm, I'm not, I'm not big on that. But so my iPhone should work fine with a T-Mobile SIM card. Is should should work. I expect it to work with no modifications, no extra charge, unless I make phone calls. Is that phone calls are ten, phone twenty cents a minute? Something yes, either ten or twenty. I think it's twenty now. But I don't need to make any phone calls. <laughs> we don't like, you know, the phone. We do everything through data. Yeah, if somebody gives us a phone call, we'll talk to them, I guess, but that's okay. Yeah. Right now, okay. All right, so. So Howard Griffin says our sound is good. Gail West said sounds great. No questions? Because we're going to sign off here. It's uh, it's time for... Uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've covered everything. Line. And can you... Oh, one other thing that I have not decided yet. This is my iPad mini. And, you know, it is a really nice little device, but I don't think I need it. I don't think you do either. Well, except for it has 
it is cellular capable and it has On Project Phi. a Google Project Phi SIM card in it. So it should work. It should be able to get connected without any Wi-Fi. Whereas the tablet that I do want to take, that I am definitely taking, the Android tablet, has to have Wi-Fi. But I don't need two tablets, do I? And we have the capability of making a Wi-Fi hotspot anyway, so we don't really need the iPhone, iPad. Yeah. So, so if you can see our little pile here, it really is a little pile. Yeah, it's not bad, and we're splitting it and up. And that's, that's half and half. So to, in case you didn't join us in the beginning. Yeah. This is the entire luggage that I'm taking. It's just this little backpack. And mine's exactly the That's same it. size. And my day pack is my purse. And I'm taking a, a larger day pack, but very similar to the strap of so that's it. We leave tomorrow. iPhone will work. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Edith. Yep. We're looking forward to it. Okay. We leave tomorrow. We fly into Florence and a month later we will fly out of Milan and we will and we have a one day stopover Two in nights. in Berlin. Two night yeah, one full day in Berlin, and then we're back home on June 21. Oh boy. And uh, we will we'll be doing at least some of this, if not our regular show. So leave us some questions. You can continue to leave questions here, even sure. after the show is ended. We'll be happy to end, to answer, and or any advice. We always get good suggestions from fellow travelers about places to go and things to do. Bon voyage, yes. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. <laughs> Drive Jersey. Bye-bye. Oh, that's not, this is not a touch screen.